Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and this is our fourth video on React with the PWA application. In this video, we will set up our routing. So first of all, we will install our uh, React routing. Then we will make some components and then we will convert these components as an router or you can say that the pages and we have to add a little bit style also. So now let's open the command line and install the React router first of all. So just right here, npm install react minus router minus dom right so while this is installing we can start our work so i am just going to open the src folder let's uh, zoom it out and just write here right here some components i'm just going to make a component with the name of about.js then like let, let's make a home.js and uh, let's make last one which is important um, users dot js right so just right here just import the react first of all in these components just right here import react from react and uh, just put a function name right users it can be the same name with the file name right and uh, just just return a statement and here we can just return a div as an wrapper then make an h1 tag like this and here we can just put a name of component which is user component and let's copy this component and paste in the home as well as in the about us and let's change the name with the about and here we can also put about right and same with the home components let's change the name of home and uh, home component perfect so our react router is installed here so just write here npm start now and import these things in the app.js but before that we have to just add here export default right and we have to do it in the all components i mean in the three components that's great so now let's open our fourth component also which is app.js and import these all components here so just import home from home right and let's make some copy of it one for about and uh, we can make one more which is uh, mm, about then let's make users all right all components are imported here now we have to import the react router so just import here link then route then we have to import a browser route and just import here route react router dom and after that it will just give me a suggestion so right so it will be a better approach so it's right right here browser router as router so that it's a long name right and after that uh, last one is switches switch is not switches it's switch all right so now we have to make the links here so i am just going to remove these html links we don't need them all right and uh, we are just going to add here just remove this text one also and just write here link and inside the link we can put here home right and let's make some copy of it for about as well as for users but now when just open our website uh, let's make it refresh okay so there's an error i think um, we have to we have to make a wrapper of the router actually right and just wrap the all things inside it like this and now you can see that we have two links home about and users we have three links but they are not visible actually all right so we can just add a little bit style here 
so that uh, they can uh, look better right so we can take this class and now open the app.css and here you can just simply add here dot navbar a just add a color and color can be like white and uh, we also have to add the style for hover so just make it over and here we can just write here ddd color and now you can see that they are working fine that's great okay so but now you can see that we are not able to uh, open something on this link right so for that we have to do two more things one we have to just uh, make the route for every component so let's make it so just, just right here route and uh, here we have to add the two things one is path and path will be gonna on which path we want to open it so about home component i just want to on a route so like this and component name which component i want to open on this route so for that i just want to add here home right that's great and let's make two more one for about and one for users and here just place this route um, let's add small d and users that's great right so but uh, we have to add this actually the router the name of uh, home or this is a root router that's why we have to add it at the last because this is the root router all right and we have to add these two routers in the switch wrapper so just right here switches switch and like this we can make it format that's great and now last thing we have to add here links uh, if you want to see that home command is working here nothing is here so if i am just going to uh, uh, use here about so this is working fine right but there is no link provided here that's why we have to make the link like href so just write here two and for the two i just want to make a uh, normal slash because this is the for home now uh, we can use uh, to about right and this link should be the same as uh, this path please keep in mind that and at the last last for two we can add users that's great now let's try to open home about and users so now you can see that we are able to add the routings here and uh, due to the bootstrap this is also responsive right there is a no scroll at the bottom that's great right so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel because in the from next video we are just going to start on the service worker and this is i already told you is the backbone of the progressive web app so actually these these are the you can say that the setup setting setting up the project and from this from the next video we will start actually working on the service worker and SWA uh, sorry uh, for the PWA okay so bye bye take care and subscribe my channel and like this video peace